Hey guys, so I am taking another solo trip. I had to go to the Charleston airport to figure out exactly where I'm going. I think I'm going the right way because it says terminal, so I'm just following the signs. Come follow me to luxury. Go down the floors and all over me. Time is good. I'ma hit you some more. But it be like dealing with a queen that just wanna make you feel, make you feel, make you feel. ever like landing somewhere and getting off the plane and you're just outside it was definitely a new experience for me i thought it was really cool you never realize like how huge the plane you're on is until you see it from the outside like close up as soon as you get off the plane they direct you to where to go and you take a shuttle to the airport and look at the plane like i was shook this was my first time using my passport and it was so easy. Like, I feel like I was freaking out for no reason. Like, anxiety for what? So from the airport, I was picked up by the free shuttle that is provided from the hotel. And they actually give you free transportation to and from the airport, which is really nice. The best part about my resort is that it's literally two minutes from the airport and it's walking distance from this beautiful beach. So first outfit of the trip, this is a two-piece set from Fashion Nova. The name of it is Keep Calling Mini Skirt Set. 
and it was originally $39 but I got it for free because Fashion Nova had a buy one get one free sale and I definitely took advantage of that. Invisiwear bracelet, um, pretty much it notifies, like if I'm in danger, you click the button twice and it alerts the police. Um, it's backed by ADT and it lets five emergency contacts know that you need help and it sends them your location and stuff. So, solo travel essential for sure. I'm about to go out and find some food to eat. So, so I took literally like a one minute walk down to this restaurant and it was right next to my hotel. This restaurant is called Sandbar. If you're looking for like a quick bite to eat, this is the perfect place because they literally have such good food and look at the prices. The drinks were really good too and the service was amazing. Not only that, but look at the view. ended up ordering these chips and dip and also the sushi which as you guys can see is really good like me and sushi go together real bad i love me some sushi it's like you can eat it and you don't feel like gross and bloated afterwards so yeah so they see me recording and was like come here i got something for you to record y'all they got these giant lobsters pretty much i was terrified i thought i was gonna drop it so i was like yeah please take it it looks like a giant roach <laughs> I don't think y'all understand how big this lobster is. Listen to its tail slap. Oh hell no! Then I took a two minute walk back to the hotel and this is the area back behind the pool. I was trying to catch the sunset and just kind of exploring around. Flying Dutchman. Um, if you don't know what the Flying Dutchman is, it is the highest zip line in the whole world. I've never zip lined before. So I'm kind of just like, what in that setting? Like, when is the next time I'm gonna go on one of these flights? So I'm going to New York next. So I booked it and 
my jeans. This was my outfit. It was really cute. I might put it on later and put some on. But yeah, I have to wear sneakers and um, shorts. So my jeans and then my taxi cab or whatever. So you guys see this. And yeah, so here we go. I got my wristband, so I don't know if y'all can see. Oh my gosh, it's an iguana. You probably can't even see it. This iguana just came out of the tree. <laughs> but that up there is what I'll be going to. And then this is the zip line. So, yeah, I'm a little terrified. I'm just a little terrified, but it's all for the experience. Oh my god, look. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's getting real. <laughs> This is the slide, and honestly, this was a piece of cake. I don't know why I was nervous for this, um, but yeah, this was really fun. I do recommend doing it. You might as well just do everything while you're there. It might not look like I'm nervous, but <laughs> I was so scared. Mind y'all, I've never ziplined before, so... This was all new to me, and mind you, all these people were together. I was alone. So if you end up doing this, um, you have options on what you'd like to do. I signed up to do everything. <laughs> so you go through four zip lines, and these are the smaller ones to kind of get you ready for the Flying Dutchman because this is just a warm-up. I freaking love this picture. <laughs> So earlier I had misspoke. Um, it's not the highest zip line in the world, but it is the most steep or steepest zip line in the whole entire world. Um, obviously I couldn't get a video of me doing it, but here are the girls who went before me and I honestly like chickened out at first. I was like, I can't do this by myself, but everything happens for a reason. I met my friend here. He was also on a solo trip celebrating his 30th birthday alone. So I could not let him go by himself. And I'm honestly so glad that we met because I would have been so mad if I didn't go through with this. Like, I would have really regretted it. I forgot to show y'all my breakfast, but on the resort, there is a restaurant. It's called Salt, and it's right by the pool. It's not an all-inclusive resort, so you do have to pay for your meals. But I honestly didn't mind because I wanted to go out and, like, try different restaurants outside of the resort anyways. After that, I just put my bathing suit on. I went to Maho Beach to watch the planes land because it's really cool. Like, I know it's just an airplane, but like, seeing it that low to the ground and that close to you is really fascinating. On my way back to the hotel, I stopped at Sandbar to take some IG pics, and I didn't even realize my tag was out, but f it, we ball. Martin is famous and known for their airport and how low the plane lands to the beach so you get really good pictures and really good videos so I did get a couple so I'll add them in and I'm just excited um I am about to go to the pool for a little bit and then at nine I have reservations at Bamboo House <laughs>
17, no guidance You be staying low, but you know what the prize is They ain't never got you, know it being modest Poppin' shit, but only cause you know you poppin', yeah You got it, girl, you got it island so this trip really worked out because it's like going to two countries in one trip so I'm super excited um, I have to bring my passport to get on the island so yeah it's pretty much going to another country my eyelash acting a fool already but super excited about to get some breakfast and then I gotta take my cab to the pickup point at nine I kind of want to go to this um, place that I see next to Sandbar because they have like, I think it's supposed to be like French food. Cause you know, St. Martin is primarily Dutch and French, so rude. Anyways, anyways. I really wanted to get something from this boutique store inside the hotel, like a big hat. But yeah, they're closed. Wow, look, it's star fruit. This is Sandy Island. It is an island in Anguilla. And literally all it has is one restaurant and one public restroom. It's about as isolated as you can get. The sand was so soft and the water was literally so clear like glass. So on the tour, we got to spend 45 minutes here. The tour does come with lunch. So they told us not to order any food because it takes forever, they said. Little Bay. Actually, got his name from the Little Bay, you see. Right? <laughs> uh, this is what we do with snorkeling. Those of you in the snorkel, the 
snorkel is all along the rocks in front of us. Right along the coast right there. Four. Seems like I can't get away from you. Broken hearts were made for two, I guess. And it's so confusing. Finding the right ways to express. Being love, it's a fear, it's a drug we do, I guess. That addiction we won't admit. where we stopped to eat lunch um they had a whole bunch of different sandwiches and fruits and chips for us me and my friend that i met doing the zip line we rented out these beach chairs for just ten dollars and i'm not gonna lie i didn't get a lot of footage from here because i ended up falling asleep i was laying out to tan and the next thing i know i woke up and it had been like 30 minutes and my scalp like the parts in my braids Oh, they was burnt. It was nice to meet you too. I'll keep in touch. Oh, yes. Yeah, she's um at work. Yes. Alright, bye guys. Just look at this guy. Literally, this is right outside my hotel. There's the hotel right there. All you gotta do is walk 10 steps out. And here you are. So from the hotel to the beach, this is the airport. You can walk right here. And there's a market for everything that you need. Going down there, it's gonna take you to where the nightlife is, past the airport. And this down here is where there is the Sonesta, Sonesta Resort and more restaurants. So I'm going to the Jack's, Jack's Steakhouse. There is a casino and up there at the top is a rooftop bar. Lots of restaurants. The place that I'm going to eat at is called Jack's Steakhouse. So it's right there. Boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a night, I keep the quality in my shorty bag. You know she wanna mind when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy. She got her toys. She been coming in my rider. It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit. Just stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stutter up till I die So story time, walking back to the hotel, I seen this stray dog and I was like, oh shit, it's a stray dog. Whole time, it sounds crazy, but I feel like me and this dog were supposed to cross paths because I'm walking home by myself in the middle of the night in a whole different country and I have no cell phone service. <laughs> this dog walks me all the way back to my hotel even though St. Martin was incredibly safe, like I did not feel in danger one time being there, it was still nice to have like, you know, a dog with me, kind of like for protection, look just a little intimidating. Even though this dog was so cute, like she even had a flower in her collar. So I really hope whoever she belongs to, she went back home after this. But yeah, I feel like everything happens for a reason and I'm really grateful that this dog walked me home. It's literally like the most perfect trip ever. And I'm sad that it went by so fast. Like next time, I'm not
now that I got this first like international solo trip out the way, next time I'm booking a longer trip. But I just feel so incredibly blessed and just so I have so much gratitude because it's like there's so much things in the world. There's so much that the world has to offer. Like there's so much more to life than your hometown or even just the current state that you're living in. The camera doesn't even do it justice. Like, it's literally so beautiful here. Like, I literally cried. I was watching TikToks a couple days before I even got here, and I was crying because I was just like, bro, I'm really going here. It's so beautiful. Like, I'm going here. So, yeah, it's just, I have so much gratitude, and I'm just so happy and so thankful. I know I keep saying it, but, like, this is real. So I just packed my bag, and I'm about to try and go to sleep. Um, I'm going to try to wake up at, like, 6 um, and enjoy, like, get breakfast and enjoy the beach, like, one last time. Checkout is at 11. I'm trying to be at the airport at, like, 11.30 to 12. I'm trying to wake up early, get breakfast here for the last time, go to the pool. Um, and, yeah, that's really about it. Yeah, I can't wait to see my boyfriend and my cat i miss her so much so yeah i'm signing off love you guys and i'll see you in the morning i have no clue what the ringing noise is like every time i try to record in this hotel room i've never had that happen before and it's only when i'm in this hotel room so yeah it's really weird but pretty much all I was showing you guys was my travel size Fenty Skin products that I always take with me when I go somewhere. And I brought my La Roche Posay spot treatment. So enjoy me doing my skincare routine. And I'm just going to play a song because that ringing noise is really annoying. So I'm sorry. <laughs> go out this way let's see oh you can the more you know look at that i don't know if this hotel is next to it but it also is like really pretty in case you come to saint martin this is the place i really wanted to eat breakfast at yesterday but they were not open and they're actually closed closed all day monday so i didn't get to try this place but if you see those two cones all the way out there maho beach is where the airplanes fly literally right above this beach and they land right here they have to take the iconic airplane um pictures and videos because the plane literally gets so low oh there's a plane coming right now I gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky Gotta testify, come up in the spot looking extra fly For the day I die I'ma touch the sky. Back when they thought pink polos are hurt the rock. Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors closed. I felt like bad boy street team. I couldn't work the locks. Now let's go. This is the coolest thing ever. Like, I ain't had no phone in my apartment. 
Let's take them back to the club. At least about an hour, I stand on line. I just wanted to dance. I went to take up an hour after I got my advance. I just wanted to shine. J favorite line. Dog. For breakfast, I stopped at Maho Market and I got banana bread and I got a fresh smoothie made. It was so good. It was pineapple banana mango and it was so good. So I got me a banana pineapple mango smoothie from the Maho Market, which is literally right there, so close to the hotel. And I got me a t-shirt and banana bread and it was all $29. Not bad at all. Look at the lizard. <laughs> Go, don't play with it, don't be the silence. Still not understanding this logic. Black and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I wanna get you better. Baby, it's whatever. Somebody gotta step up. Gonna let somebody on next up. Be thankful and I'm kept up. It's easy to see that you're fed up. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, you don't need to over cause you let him. Girl, I guess you didn't know any better. Girl, that man didn't show any ever. Do all I can just to show you it's special. Certain it's your love that holds me together. Hey, can you say he's been killing the vibe? Gotta be sick of this guy. Pull up skirt, get in the right. Left hand is staring, the other is gripping your thigh. Light up a spiff and get high. Shout it, you deserve what you've been missing. Looking at you, I'm thinking he must be driven. Baby, it's gone, gone, I'm just with him. Loving ain't the same. I don't know what to say, but what a shame. If you were mine, you would not get the same. If you were mine, you would top everything. Suicide in the drop, switch your lens in the thing. So far, baby, no propane. Got good, girl, can I be faint? Keep it 100, girl, I ain't no saint. But you the only reason that I'm feeling this way. Giving you a word, baby, when you get space, pen gang, give me lay, baby, that's penetrate up, man. From start to finish. It's my little St. Martin shirt because you know I had to be a tourist. I definitely recommend going out and traveling and seeing the world because the world has so much to offer. There's so much more to life and you need to do whatever you want to do while you're young and while you can. So I'm 26 years old and I just got my passport this year. I wish I would have been did something like this but it's never too late. I'm not gonna cry. I almost did. Y'all almost got me slipping. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and put my shoes on and roll my bags downstairs and go ahead and get to the airport early. And I will see you guys later. So here's me just parting ways from my beautiful hotel room that I'm gonna miss so much. Just making sure to clean up behind me and turn all the lights off. So as soon as I got outside, the shuttle was ready to take me to the airport. And again, I was really nervous for the whole process of the airport with my passport because this is my first time using it. So I didn't really know like what to expect as far as like the process of getting back into the US. I guess because I got there so early, the lines were so small, like it was so easy, like easy breezy lemon squeezy. Atlanta though was a different story. That TSA line was crazy. Even when I got back at like 10.30 at night, it was still a long ass 
gone. I got me some Domino's in the airport. It has little mini personal pizzas. So that's what I got in a water. And I got a whole bunch of like different rum and like a security bag. So I don't, I don't want to bother it or take it out. But yeah. Y'all won't believe who I just met too. I just met Bella and I heard her mom lives here so she comes here all the time it seems like which is nice because if my parents live here I would be here all the time. If my parents live here I'd probably live here too. Yeah it was really nice to meet her. She's so freaking pretty. She looks just like her TikTok and Instagram like gorgeous and she's so sweet so I'm glad I got to see her. So from St. Martin, I landed back in Atlanta at like 10 something, got on my flight at like midnight. I went ahead and put this dress on to be more comfortable. Finally, I landed in Charleston and I had a two hour drive back home. So after this, I pretty much just passed out in my bed. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Hopefully I will be posting another vlog real soon. And that's it.